Hi everyone, welcome to the third video of the Prompt Builder for Developers video series. In this episode, you will learn about the different techniques to invoke prompt templates and get a response from the Large Language Model or LLM. My name is Alba Rivas, I am a developer advocate here at Salesforce and I'm going to drive you through this. But first, if you have missed any episodes of this series, you can watch it entirely on this link. When you invoke prompt templates, they are first resolved, which entails retrieving the data from all the data providers in the template, such as merge fields, related lists, flows, or apex, to create a resolved prompt. Then the prompt is sent through the Einstein trust layer to the large language model so that the model can generate a response. Some out-of-the-box entry points allow you to invoke prompt templates from Salesforce, such as the preview functionality in Prompt Builder, the email composer, lightning record pages, or copilot. On top of that, you can also invoke templates from your custom business logic by using Flow, Apex, or the REST API. Let's start by seeing how to invoke prompt templates from Flow. Every prompt template that you save and activate is automatically exposed as an invocable action in Flow. This means that you can invoke them using the regular actions element. To add the action, you can filter actions out by selecting the prompt builder category or you can look for the template name directly. Templates with specific inputs need those inputs passed in to the invocable action. You can access the output of the invocable action to surface the response that the LLM generates this way. Next. To invoke prompt templates from Apex, you use classes and methods from the Connect API in Apex. Same as in Flow, each prompt template will expect different inputs to be passed in. So you need to create the inputs in Apex and pass them to the template. Note that in the Einstein prompt template generations input instance, we can control some aspects of the invocation and the additional configuration for the LLM provider. One interesting parameter is the is preview parameter, which controls whether the template should be just resolved or resolved and then sent to the LLM to return the response. The num generations parameter controls how many responses you get from the LLM. The temperature parameter controls how many risks you want the model to take. And the frequency penalty parameter is used to control the repetitiveness of the generated tokens, considering how many times a token has appeared in these or in prior generations. Finally, you perform the invocation by calling the generate messages from prompt template method and passing in the template API name and the inputs that you created. The response will be an Einstein prompt template generations representation containing the resolved prompt, the generations and other parameters. Note that the generations also include an interesting parameter called safety score representation, which includes some measures that Salesforce computes to evaluate the safety of the response by passing it through a toxicity detection model. Asking the LLM to return JSON is a very convenient approach when planning to invoke templates from custom entry points, as you will be able to easily parse it either in Apex or JavaScript. Finally, to invoke prompt templates from external systems, you use a resource exposed in the Connect REST API. This is the endpoint to which you need to send a request which will include the template API name. 
Same as in Flow and Apex, you need to pass the inputs that the prompt template expects, but this time in the request body using this format. And of course, you can use the same configuration parameters that are available when you perform the request from Apex. Let's try this out. Once the LLM responds, the body of the response will look something like this. Note that the safety score representation is also returned with each generation. You can take a look at a sample request to this resource in the Salesforce platform Postman collection. As you can see, invoking prompt templates from Flow, Apex, and the REST API can be very useful at the time of incorporating AI-generated responses into your custom logic. And you can do that from the Salesforce platform, but also from third-party systems. Now, let your imagination fly and think about all the fantastic use cases that you could implement by using this capability. If you haven't done it yet, you can request a five-day trial or as part of the new Quick Start Prompt Builder module on Trailhead, which is the first resource that I'm listing here. On top of this, I leave you some more links to videos and blogs that will help you get started with Prompt Builder right away. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like or leave me a comment. And if you want to receive notifications about more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. Thank you and hope to see you in the next video.